All right, this will be the fourth installment of Dirty Beards and Metal Shavings. Today, I have already painted the trim, um, but I've actually put it up here, drilled it in, and then I took it back off, and I put the pieces over there to dry. Uh, right now, I'm doing a little project that I've wanted to do for a while putting strip light up here. So that's what I'm doing right now. In a couple days, I'm going to be going out for my maiden, maiden head, maiden voyage, maiden voyage um, with this um, to Red Lodge, Montana. I've got a place up there that I have loved and why I expressly bought the Moonlander. Thank you, Luke. Is to go up there and winter camp because lately with everybody COVID and all of that stuff, uh, I'd go up there and all of the places would be taken. And then I'd go up there and all of the places would be taken. Uh, this is uh, 16 feet? I believe 16 feet. And I needed like 15, so I'm going to have a, about a foot um, to go down this uh, side here, which might be kind of nice, or I might just loop it back around. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it's actually going to twist down. It might, but I don't know. And this is just going into the solar. Um, I've got a, a couple other pieces of uh, of uh, LED light strip. Um, I'm actually putting it uh, underneath the bed, kind of give it a little bit of an ambiance. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. And then you'll see me next time in uh, Red Lodge. And then I'll probably post... Um, in each individual, you know, do something uh, nice on the on the camper, and then go camp, and then do something nice on the camper, and then go camp. Kind of give you guys one and and, and a one two, mm -hmm. uh, jab jab. Other than that, guys, I think that this is it, and I'll see you in Red Lodge. Well, I managed to lie to my subscribers. I pushed my camping trip back a day or two. All right, so today I'm actually going to be covering up this beautiful... <laughs> I'm making a sink, but I've got this uh, little knot there, and I just could not get it to cut. Um, I had a really good blade on my uh, uh, saw, and I kept on gouging out. I was going really slow, and suddenly a piece would uh, fly off, and I would say a couple choice words. But I finally got, I finally got it relatively well. But uh, I want to put the hole over here for the. Uh, and if I go through this, I'm not going to be able to go through that with a uh, my jigsaw. So I already know that, and I'm going to chip it. So. I'm going to pre-drill uh, this piano hinge into there, and then I'm going to, you guys can probably see it. I will assess if you guys can see it when I review the video, but I um, made these little, uh, uh, well, it's probably about 30 degrees, somewhere around there. Um, but I made it so that, uh, of course, this would lie flat. No, ha ha ha. Uh, this would lie flat. And uh, I already checked level off of the bed. I checked level off of this uh, aluminum piece right here. And I am pretty level. And I'm pretty level. So uh, the whole entire pickup's level, amazingly enough. And this is level. So as soon as I uh, put the piano hinge on there, I'm actually going to be able to rotate it up and out of the way. 
um, the uh, the sink, and you'll see after the whole entire thing is done, the sink is simple kitchen bowl for four dollars and thirty six cents at Walmart. That gets that, and then this goes in here and out the pickup and outie Audi. Pretty darn sure it's going to work. Pretty darn sure. You see that? Uh, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. And then, yeah, I'll show you the uh, finished project, finished product, and uh, in a bit. Bye. All right. So, a little bit of an update on this. I've got it uh, so that it is functional. I've already put the piano hinge in. I've uh, put these blocks where it uh, levels out the whole entire thing. I'm still up in the air on whether I want to do that, which kind of looks like a dog bowl um, to me, or a little bit higher scale. And I, I just love that look. So I think I'm going to go with that and put some silicone on there. And uh, But uh, first things first, red chestnut. I am going to put red chestnut on that. And you guys will see it here as soon as she's done. All right. I've watched a couple people do this online. And they drill like six or eight, ten holes. You just two inch for this particular one. Two inch hole saw. Pre drilled a eighth inch. Not bad. Ooh. I'll get back to you when it's done. All right. Schoenerbach and cheers. Salute. All right. Got the hole made. And this has seen better days. In fact, I think I uh, seen red uh, as I as I pushed probably a little bit too hard. But uh, putting a thin layer of uh, silicone. On here. Probably don't need to do this, but I'm going to anyway. All right. Ah, I should have gotten a a wrench. But Oh. Here we go.
All right, I'm gonna get this tightened down, guys, and I'll see you in a couple seconds. Alrighty, that was fun. And by fun, I mean the absolute opposite. Of fun. All right, so what I'm doing right now, oh, that was such a bugger. I might have used that uh, two inch bit for something else. That might have been why. It was so, mm. oh, it was good. Might have used that for something else. Where did my screwdriver go? Oh, there it is. All right. Eh. We'll go with the Milwaukee. Use a real man's drill. All right, and I'm using the um, flat corner braces from Homey Depot. Ew, we're about to see if that's going to go through the wood. It's a barely. We're going to see if it... And I would probably say that was a barely. All right, and that's how I'm gonna do this. Just gonna be four corners. And one need a hand and screwed over. It should work. Pretty well. And that's how it's gonna look, guys. I'm gonna put silicone on the inside and I got all the silicone. Removing silicone from stainless steel, not easy. Not easy. Alrighty. I will get back with you guys when I get all of those brackets on. Well, I'd have to say that that's pretty on there. Hopefully this uh, comes out. So just uh, center it, guys, on the uh, on the inside, and then put corner brackets on each one of those. And it uh, works out pretty good. And then that's that's all there is to it. And then on my particular, and anybody that's doing this for a Tundra, um, this is what I got. However, just like everybody online said uh, on uh, on Amazon, this is a 5 8 uh, barbed drain adapter. It says 3 8 right there, Vanterra, Volterra, Volterra. And uh, sure enough, if I didn't have to go to Ace Hardware and get a 5 8 nylon to a coupling, I guess 5 8 and then down that uh, uh, brass down to a 3 8 because three eighths is what goes through the side of my truck. Those threads suck. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. Mercy sakes alive.
well. I did think that that was going to be easy to put. Uh, nope. Back it off. Back it off. Back it off. Nope. That's not going to. Okay. Imagine that that's on. Sink. And then through. Oh, I might have already showed that, but sink through and it's going to drain outside. I'm only going to camp in places that I can do that. And that's it. That is all she wrote, guys. I am going to silicone the living snot out of this um, since it's since it's uh, just been stained. It shouldn't really. I say that it shouldn't stick. But I'm putting down a pretty darn nice. You know what would have really been smart is if I would have put silicone on the inside of that. That would have been really smart. But as any friends can attest that are watching this, I'm not that smart. Ah! Bugger! My trusty microfiber cloth. Ah. Wow. And just like that. Ah. Not not too shabby. That should work. Silicone in there, silicone in there, and that will be it. I'll show you as it's in there. All right, I'm still not camping. No beer today, so cheers. 
Uh, this is going to be an unboxing. I still haven't made it to uh, Red Lodge. I apologize for the sniffles. I might be getting a cold. Who knows? But today is an unboxing of a pump, integrated folding water pump. And I wanted it to um, be up here for my sink. Silicone hose and... I'm not 100% sure what that what that is, but um, more silicone hose. Folding pump. Press the switch to start pumping about 50 milliliters of water and then automatically shut down. Okay. Oh, it's uh, this. It's supposed to be for a actual jug, and this is the little deal for the jug. Big water jug. Oh, broke it. Oh, all righty. And there's, there's stuff on it. Okay. So the idea here is to mount it up there somehow and run a small water jug, a scepter, maybe two, two and a half gallon uh, water jug down here. And that's going to be what is going to run my, on my sink. So that should be fun. Oh, I think I will enjoy it just as long as I tur don't turn it on and it just spouts. The rest of this is just going to be a kind of a walk around of inside here, how I've kind of got everything else. I got to put up one more shelf, but that's kind of how that's going to look. And I am sure I had it on my last one, but I just used those little pieces of wood to kind of hold it up there and, and derp a derp and like that. Oh, look at it. It's a little stopper. Do, do, do. All right, everything like that. I put this little light up. There we go. Oh, you haven't seen this yet. All right, put sensitive, little bit of under bed lighting. There we go. Running off my battery system. And then we've got this that I just did today. For my EcoFlow, kind of sits down in this little uh, cubby hole. I don't know. And I installed these little lights. Yeah, it's coming along really well. And I even put up all of my uh, cords up there. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is the end of this particular section. Alrighty. I promise this is going to be the last walkthrough before I go camping tomorrow. Alright, this is officially how it's kind of put up this little shelf this afternoon. And then I did that. Two pieces of small wood, the last of my pine, amazingly enough. Projector screen, 100 inch screen, and then I can take it down whenever I, I want to, but it'll go through that. And I'll show you from the outside. It just basically clears. It almost doesn't clear, but it will clear. Turn on a, out in the middle of nowhere, put a camp chair out there, and have a movie night. Peace. All right, guys, as promised, I am on my way to Red Lodge. Had to stop in Laurel, Montana and get Jimmy John's number two roast beef sandwich. Probably my favorite 
of all of the fast food stuff that's out there. And a lot of channels, you know, have these particular types of moments where you kind of get to hear a YouTube personality kind of talk about, you know, life and all of the things that might be happening in the world and just being able to get away from it all. And I think that's important for whether you're conservative or liberal or you're just not even following politics. Like I tend to not try to. But to be able to get away, whether you're left or right, being able to get away and get away from all of the things that make you mad or sad. I think that's really important for anybody to be able to do. So I just figured I would take a couple seconds. I I really wanted to kind of say that to anybody that might be a future subscriber or is a subscriber right now, just to take that time and relax in your own way, whether that be a video game, whether that be a walk, whether that be your lifelong, and truly is a lifelong dream of me being able to go out and camp while it is really, really cold out and be relatively secure, safe, and mildly warm. So tonight I've got a North Face uh, zero degree sleeping bag that I've had for a very long time. I've got a 20 degree sleeping bag back there. And I've got a couple blankets and a Mr. Buddy heater, 9,000 BTU. I think I'll be fine. But just being able to go out, make a, a fire, which you'll see me hopefully do, but a bunch and just kind of get away and try to de-stress. And yeah, take the time, ladies and gentlemen, take the time in order to de-stress because I think the world is chaos right now. Absolute chaos. So, guys, treat yourself right and enjoy. All right, guys. Well, I am up here way later than I thought I was going to be. It's about uh, 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. And I guess today is the 15th of November, 2023. I'm hitting golden hour where the sun's already down. And, well, I have probably another 10 minutes of driving. I'm going to be making a fire via headlamp, more than likely. I did buy firewood, which is a good thing. But, yeah. So if uh, you've never been to Red Lodge, it is a neat little part of Montana where not a lot of things have changed. And you still get a whole lot of Cowboys. We've got Bogarts up here. Bogarts is a restaurant and bar that has an excellent fried pickle, if you like fried pickles. And uh, the Pollard, uh, which is a motel. Hotel? Motel is the one where it's exposed to the outside, right? 
motel. So it's a hotel. Apologize. All right, guys. Well, I will let you go. I just figured I would enjoy looking back at some of these videos on YouTube myself and remember my first night in the Moonlander. And I believe that this is where I'm going to camp tonight. I don't have a lot of sunlight left in what I do have. I think I'm going to take it. All right, guys. Well, I have wanted to do this for quite a while. It's about, uh, well, there's snow right up the, uh, the road here. Not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this, but Kettle House Brewing out of Kalispell, I believe. Kalispell? Maybe Bozeman. I can't even see it. Nope, I can't see it. Ah, but regardless, Kalispell or Bozeman. It is a good Scotch ale. And I have wanted to get a couple hot dogs going over the fire for a long time now. And I've got a uh, North Face 700 fill coat on and a jacket underneath that, a thermal and a flannel. And you know what? I'm just about right. Mm. And with a beer, that's a healthy amount of awesome right there. So what you see off to your left right there, and I'll show it to you a little bit inside the uh, inside the camper. Um, that is uh, Fire Maple's take on a butane lantern. And I bought on Amazon the leather uh, holder for the butane canisters. So it looks about as rustic as one can get something like that to look. And it's such a nice little light, light portable butane lantern. And like I was saying in Laurel, do what makes you happy. Even if it's simple as a lot of YouTube personalities say, your bug out vehicle is the vehicle that you have right now. And I 100% wholeheartedly agree with that. You don't have to have a moon lander and a pickup in order to Oh, the smoke is following me, sweet mother. Oh, now it's so hard to twist the hot dogs. There we go. Ah, oh, it is uh, very, very windy. I just happened to find a uh, parking spot, camping spot that had a little bit of wood in the fire. Oh, that beer is good. And I had a couple pieces of wood in my truck. And I got a couple branches that were on the ground. And just a really nice time. So once again, get out, do what you like, subscribe. And I will see you in the camper. And we'll see how warm I can get it up to and how fast. Cheers. Salute. All right, finally in the camper. It's about uh, 6.50. 6.50, worked a couple minutes ago. 
I stand corrected. I actually have a north old north face dark star negative 40 degree sleeping bag. It's an old one, but from what I recall, it's a good one. That has performed really nicely. And I do love how that uh, uh, Amazon piece of leather looks. It's very nice. Um, spilt my beer. It's down there. So the beer was all over the place. I'm going to go look through Home Depot's ad. And yeah, just getting ready for the night. And enjoying life right now. Really enjoyed the hot dogs. My little lights are not falling down. They're not losing adhesion to the wood there. So, guys, uh, it is about 55 degrees in here. And so far, I haven't even had to... Other than the little uh, lantern, I haven't had to turn on heat yet, so pretty nice. It's uh, probably about 35, 40 degrees outside, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the morning. See you. All right, 11.30, and it is... Forty-six degrees in here. All right, we're gonna turn that on. And the dark star. I remember. I freaking hate it. I remember. I hate it so much. Oh. oh, so we're going to let that run for a bit. Oh, it is, um, exactly 11.30. I'll catch you in a couple minutes when I'm at least at 60 degrees in here. And then I'm going to try to get some more sleep. Well, nice and toasty in here now. Boy, that really blacks it out. Um, I'm not trusting that. It says 53, but... Mm, hot air rises. 67 with the fan on. 10% air out. No risk of carbon monoxide, but I'm still not going to trust it. It did have a brilliant idea. I brought two sleeping bags. And trust me, the Kelty tuck is much more comfortable. I'm going to put the Dark Star in front of that window. Of course, there's a... There's a window there to go to the truck, which you cannot see. I'll show you in the morning, but you guys know it's there. I'm going to push that like that and lay against that. And once I did that, holy cow, I think everything just changed for truck camping. Yeah. I like the lights. Just enough light. Not on twinkle. 
Ooh. Holy cow. That thing is putting off a good amount of heat. I'm going to shut off the fan, get it up a little bit to temp, and then go to sleep again. Bah. Holy cow, it was a pretty good night. I got up at 6.30 this morning and I turned that little guy on. It was pretty cold in here. That's been going on well, the last five minutes-ish. Got it up to 55. Oh, that is our view this morning. I didn't know I parked that close to the outhouse, which is locked. Just so everybody would know. You can definitely tell up there that we've got some low fog coming in. Alrighty. As soon as I get warm enough, I'm going to go out there. It seems cold out there. Well, my truck says it is 28 degrees outside. I can't leave it on for very long because it switches over to the other Bluetooth and I don't want to disconnect it. I slept a long time, but it didn't see a, it feel like I slept very well. It stayed warm and my coat still smells like uh, campfire, which is good, which is good. All right, guys, let's take a walk. And we will see where we is. <laughs> I told you there was snow. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that's where we had hot dogs last night. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, you can see the uh, fog rolling in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it is cold. I'm pretty damn sure that that's. Probably motorcycle tracks. Back tire of motorcycle. Could be ATV. Oh, goodness. There's a mountain up there. You wouldn't... You wouldn't know it. Oh, and there's a little bit of snowflakes in the air. In the springtime, summertime, you get water over here. Not freaking now. But you do get water. And something's been gnawing at it. That's interesting. Now I'm kind of scared. Somebody slept in their vehicle last night. Not as comfortably as I did. Well, guys, I'm trying to figure out if I want to start up another fire. <sighs> well, you'll see it if I do. Uh, alrighty, I've got some wood in the old camper fire. Some paper. Ah, 
burns a matic. Makes for a heck of a quick fire. get going and we might have some eggs we'll see well it's gonna be a good old-fashioned scramble just popped two eggs in there I'm gonna go get a forgot to turn on the camera but everybody's cracked eggs Goodness gracious. Ah. Well, I can definitely say one thing. It was a little... It was a little cold last night. You guys might see it. There was definitely snowflakes coming down. I haven't had eggs over a campfire in a long time. Yeah. There we go. Not hot? Not hot. Oh. Morning, guys. Oh. It is nice to have my hands warmer than they were. I do have to get a coat that has a hood. That's on my, it's on my list. It's on my list. Seems like every single time I see a coat that I like, it's a coat. Like this one. Oh, that's a little warm. They are starting to hold together. Ah, oh, that really cuts the chill. But yes, there's snowflakes coming down. It's quite cool. Little snowflakes. But it is definitely snowflakes. Well, I wanted to start shouting out, since it's, what, the fourth episode, I wanted to say thank you once again to all my subscribers in particular, uh, Kevin in Seattle, well, Washington, outside of Seattle, Arlington area. I want to say hello to my friend, Sean if he even watches this. You know, keep your friends close. Since I can't call them, there's no cell phone signal. I wanted to shout you guys out. So, you guys have been good friends for a long time. And I thank you for being my friend. 
all of my subscribers. Thank you for being a subscriber. Maybe a future friend. All right, guys, I'm going to finish these eggs. Maybe cook up a couple hot dogs and uh, not make this a 30-minute video. Well, I decided on trying to cook bacon, and I decided against it. I went down to the stream and put some water in the old frying pan. Maybe cook off some of the eggs. And I'm like, I've got a couple extra hot dogs. And it's been a long time since I've had hot dogs over a open fire other than last night. And I ate those like they were going out of style. I definitely made a big enough fire. I didn't want to take the pieces of wood back. It was like $4 at Walmart. What do you guys think? I think they're pretty darn good. Oh. I definitely learned last night. To keep them relatively close to the fire. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's the new expression nowadays? That's fire. Mm-hmm. That's pretty darn good. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Holy crap, it's cold. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm running back home. I'll post this today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Arrivederci. Sayonara. Auf Yeah. Ciao.